35 degrees outside. But tonight we are gonna have a low of 25, so we are at about peak heat for the day. But I'm gonna knock this drive out and then uh, catch up with you once uh, we're getting rods ready to fish. the off season here in Minnesota, but I found myself a campsite to stay at tonight. And right behind me, if you can listen, you can hear that there's water nearby. So that means that we're gonna be doing some fishing. What we're gonna be fishing with is this little tiny fly-like lure right here. And uh, we're gonna be using some ultralight tackle and trying to catch a big old rainbow trout or steelhead, if you will. waves here are so powerful, it's honestly like the ocean, especially when the wind's up like this. People actually come here to surf because it's one of the only Great Lakes that you can surf. It's also one of the only places that you can find a stair set that looks this inviting. Oh, it's a straight up ice hill. Look at that. Wow. What I'm using today is this tiny little bug lure. Basically like fly fishing, but with a spinning rod. Something that we do up here is we use a bobber that has weight on it. This is a heavy shore fishing bobber. And we're gonna see if we can trick one into biting. Essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cast it out there like that let it sit and get pushed by the waves and the current. I already have one. Fish on. So sick. All right, so I'm just trying to keep him pinned and tire himself out before he gets in shallow here up on these rocks. This is a good fish. Oh, he broke off. Dang. All right, we are tied back up. There's a fish. It's just a little bit too windy out right now to be fishing. 
almost got clapped by a couple waves there. And my line's blowing all over the place. I haven't used this knife in a while and I've really missed it. This thing is so sick. I picked this up in Japan last year and I freaking love it. I also love these things right now. All right, now that the meat's got a nice brown texture to it, just gonna grab some water here. Cloves of garlic in there as well. The pressure cooker is not happy with me right now. Once it's lid. All right, we're gonna give it to you. All right, I got my stew meat in. I gotta pressure cook it for 40 minutes. So we're gonna let that do its thing. Probably got about a half hour left of sunlight here. And maybe one more handful of honey mustard onion pretzels. What I failed to show you earlier is the way that I'm going to be keeping myself warm tonight. Because I've been holding on to this for a long time. And I'm finally excited I'm going to be able to use it tonight. So this is a Japanese water heater. They use these for camping. Um, I think we have some stuff like this in America as well. I was actually given this by a friend, Mariko. Um, I met her in Japan and she sent me a care package of some of her favorite foods and one of her favorite camping supplies. When I met her, she was using one of these to stay warm and uh, I was kind of mesmerized by it because I've never seen one before, but I'm gonna see if we can't figure out how to use it, which should be pretty easy because she was nice enough, even though English isn't her first language, to write me out a nice note on how to use it so it looks like it's called a utampo we are not supposed to heat it up with a lid on it she even had these cute little drawings we put it in the bag and sleep with it and it should help keep us warm she also sent me a cd from her band she's in a band in japan i can't remember how you say the name of her band now and i can't read it because this is kanji I'll put a link to it though in the description if you guys want to check it out. But I think she plays she plays bass guitar, so I'll listen to that in the car tomorrow. Because my truck is so old that it does have a CD player in it. And she also sent me a little package of her favorite snacks, so you'll bet that I'm gonna be snacking on some Japanese candies tonight. Let's unpackage this thing, shall we? Inside we have some instructions written in kanji. I can't read kanji yet. So we have a soft cloth bag. It looks like it's kind of like a microfiber cloth. Or like the same material as like those really oily soft blankets. This is just a layer to protect you from the hot water. 
And then you have the water heater itself here. And this is, uh, looks like it has a replacement rubber gasket for it. And it just unscrews like that. Remove your paper. And it's really nothing crazy fancy. I'd imagine that this is like double walled or something so the heat doesn't escape as fast because it feels, I mean, it doesn't feel directly hollow. So figure out how well this thing can keep me warm. Like I said, it is going to be 25 degrees out as a low tonight. So I think that's a pretty good test for this little guy. Yeah, it's just a soft bag. Well, that's nice. Wow. Believe it or not, this thing doesn't heat itself, so while my dinner is cooking, I'm also going to start a fire over here. Oh, this hasn't been used in a while. Campsites, you're not supposed to gather your own firewood, so I brought my own. But I don't think they'll have an issue if I grab some sticks off the ground. Honestly, just call me a volunteer. Cleaning up the driving path. tender okay perfect now take our onions all right we're gonna add our veggies asap up my veggies and tossed them in. Now we just gotta pressure cook it for another 10 minutes and that should be more than enough to finish our Japanese curry. Right, our fire is starting to fire. Our curry is just about done. I didn't overcook the udon. Things are panning out. No matter what I do. One of my favorite things to cook with since my trip to Japan, and this is uh, just Japanese curry mix. It's not like other curries I've had, but this little uh, this little bar of goodness thickens up 
our soup mixture and makes this delicious. It smells delicious. It's thickening it up nicely. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Get some udon noodles. Fire's coming along. Should have some hot coals soon. It's funny. Uh, this was just not lit, and I just pushed all the wood closer together, and it lit itself back on fire. So I was thinking that I got sold bad firewood, but apparently I just don't know how to make a log cabin campfire. As far as dinner's concerned, it's done. And it smells and looks delicious. And some udon. Curry, stewed beef. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. I think I cooked with this uh, curry brick when I was in Japan as well on video. I might have even made this exact same meal. But man, is it delicious. Highly recommend ordering some of that golden curry. It's delicious. Oh, what the heck? See? Told you. Real thing. Why? I should really be boiling my water right this second, but I don't think my fire's anywhere near ready. Best meal I've had in a while. So good. You already know where the dirty dishes go. Right there. Oh, just like that, I moved a piece of wood. And this thing started back up. This thing takes a lot of water. It's trying to play tricks on me though, I can't tell how full it is. Let's not spill it. What is that in there? See that? What was that? All right, now I guess we just Wait for that fire to not suck. I wanted to bury it in hot coals, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible with my fire. Not quite boiling yet, but it's getting warm. It's a start. So usually on these types of trips, I bring a backup sleeping bag that I keep back here. I didn't bring one tonight. Um, mainly because I think that this will work just fine for 25 degrees, but also because I forgot one. I think I might need to dive into one of these there. So I took a lot of train travel while I was in Japan. One from Tokyo to Osaka, and I've just used it for transport while around in Tokyo. And I remember on the trains I'd always get exactly this so it's funny that it's one of Mariko's favorites i've never had one of these i don't know what it is it says choco bar japan in english and that's about it on here if i had to guess it looks like one of those rice crispy bars like a, a crunch bar if you will Mhm. Mm but that's really good it's like wafer and there's even like chocolate cookie in there if you can see that see them oh 
These are delicious. The fruity candies are also very good. This looks like a grape. Grape gummy one. I wonder what that scale means right here. This is very good though. I like these. What do we think's in here? Never seen a package like this. What are those? Are those nuts? Hmm. They're like sunflower seeds. They're like dehydrated sunflower seeds, though. Oh, they're coated. It's like a sunflower seed coated in wafer or something. Cracker. It's so funny that it came in such a small package. I've never seen something like this, like this small. Oh, yeah. That water is hot. This bag isn't going to be white for very long. Ooh, that's nice. My feet got absolutely soaked today. I had a wave crash over my feet. I'll try sleeping with my socks and see if I can't dry them out. The water bottle feels very warm. I'm putting it underneath my my comforter right now to see if it will make my bed any warmer before I hop into it. Oh, those are good. Those taste like, I forget, it like grape juice. So it's funny because the tank feels like, I mean, I can touch it when it's in the bag, but if it's just the bare metal, it's so dang hot right now that I would probably, I would burn my hand for sure. Hoping that the thing doesn't leak. I got the lid on there super tight, but I don't know, fingers crossed it doesn't leak. It would suck to have a wet bed. Be good for nobody. I didn't have my diesel heater running for a little bit while I was waiting. My feet, my foot was getting cold, so. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Shutting that off now, because we are going to depend on the heat. The water. Also, look at this bag that Marika gave me. Pretty rad. A little fish. It was about a year ago now, almost exactly, that I was in Japan hanging out. I think I gotta plan another trip over there because I kind of missed that place, to be quite honest with you. I was gonna go back again for New Year's this year, but. I don't know. Kind of want to explore some other places too, but Japan is really cool. Let me know if you guys want to see. Do you have any other video ideas that you want to see from me? Because I will, I will look for any excuse to make it back over to that island. All right. Well, it's not the latest out right now, but somehow I'm still tired. Oh my gosh. This water bottle is so warm. It's crazy. I've got it like right underneath my thighs right now. Wow, that is warm. I will probably end up starting the diesel heater in the morning again, just because it'll be nice to warm up quick before I get dressed, but it's gonna be interesting to see how long this uh, this warm water lasts. If it, you know, lasts through all throughout the night or if it's like a couple hour thing, but right now it is, it is kicking out some heat. I remember last year when I was talking to Mariko, she was saying that um, it'll actually stay warm pretty much the entire night. So I'm interested to see just how warm that is. Right now it is, it's cranking. If I only wake up one time in the morning, I'll give you a warmth update and I'll give you one if I uh, wake up in the middle of the night because I'm cold. Right now, my warmness is about a 10 out of 10. Honestly, maybe a little too warm. Um, my legs are kind of sweating on this thing. 
we'll see how I'm feeling in the morning. I actually might move it down to my feet right now because it's honestly a little intense. Oh, where it was in the bed is insane. <sighs> All right. Morning. It's roughly 6.15 in the morning. Ugh, it's time to get up. You know what's surprising? This thing stayed warm all night. It is still warm to the touch. All right, well, I'm turning on the diesel heater anyway because it sounds nice for waking up. The water bottle heater was a success. All right, well, successful night camping. Takeaways are that water bottle seems like a pretty nice piece of equipment. If uh, you're using a sleeping bag, it seems like it holds the heat well and kept me warm all night. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Planning on doing some more fishing in the future. So as always, until next time, you already know the drill. Let's keep on trucking.